Hello, crafty friends. It's Debbie with Make It With Me. I am participating in a Team Tiny Hop today, and we are supposed to come up with an interactive card. And I had just ordered some of these action wobblers and had not had an opportunity to use them yet. So I'm going to be using the little wobblers today. And um, I'm kind of doing a, a different twist on, I've combined several things. Um, I have this background. I'm going to do a little bit different card today. This one is five and a half by five and a half. And I had just gotten this. Um, this is the New Horizons Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up! And it is so pretty and has so many versatile backgrounds in it. Um, and so I chose this one because I wanted to use a, uh, a set with some little chicks on it. And it's just so pretty and it's so versatile. I mean, there's so many things I think you could use this with. You've got just some, you know, watercolor looking backgrounds and some scenes. And it's just really pretty paper. And so I thought rather than build my own background, I thought I'd keep it simple today and try and do this in one take. <laughs> and so look how pretty that is. Look at that sky and the water. I just love this paper and it's 48 sheets and they're all two-sided. So I just know there's just unlimited things that I can do with this. So I chose a sheet of that and I didn't think you needed to watch me glue. I'm gonna try to keep this video to about 10 or 15 minutes. And so I just cut this down to five and three eighths by five and three eighths, and I've already glued it down on my on my five and a half by five and a half card. So I'm, what my plan is, is I think I'm gonna make this a Mother's Day card. Had not made my Mother's Day card yet, so my mom doesn't watch YouTube, so she's not gonna see it. So I'm just going to use that as my background. And I'm just going to build my scene. I'm going to, I had this home and garden set and I liked this thanks for helping me grow. So I'm going to use the greeting from that. And then this is the Hey Chick birthday set. And so I'm going to be using um, this image along with a few of these little eggs. I have three siblings, so I'm going to use four of those. And then I already had some trees already stamped that was um that I didn't use for another project and they're right here and I pulled those from this mountain air set this is a nice scene building set as well and then I am going to I am going to do a giveaway today on this so please be sure and share it with your friends but I am going to color these now I've already colored these eggs and I didn't want to include too much coloring and um I've this was one of the dies in the set. It's just a little hen house. And I just cut that out. I die cut that out off some craft paper. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, early espresso and a dauber to just give that a little bit more dimension so you can see it a little better. I just want to, it's got the, um, the shape kind of embedded in the die. And so plain, you can't really see that, but if I add a little bit of ink around it, you can see it a lot better. So I'm just going to work on that. I'm using the early espresso ink. It's one of the darker browns. I think I want to go over the outer edges a little bit more than the inside, just to kind of give it a rougher look and help some of that um, die cutting show up a little bit better. And so now you can kind of see a little bit more of the texture in it. I'll talk a little bit about the coloring and um, also a little bit about what Team Tiny is. I'm so appreciative to be able to be involved in that group. It's such a nice group of ladies and they do these hops every month. And um, I'm going to be using just a little bit of gray on these eggs. Now, I am a big temporary adhesive person. So when I'm coloring, I sometimes just put a little strip of that down just to keep my image from moving around. And I'm going to stick my little chicken and my egg here to keep it from moving while I color. And I have found that today I'm going to be using my Stampin' Write markers. And I really like these. They move really well on watercolor paper. And I just got the full set that I've been wanting for over a year. And I'm going to be using the basic gray and a blender. 
Now, normally you don't have to have a blender. You can use watercolor, a water brush marker, or a um, just a paintbrush and a little bit of water. But I couldn't find my favorite water brush today. I know it's here somewhere. My desk has eaten it. And um, I just couldn't find it. So I'm going to use the blender pen today. And I find that if I put my certain images, I guess I should say not always, but if I just lay a bit of, little of that blender pen down first before I add my color, I feel like it moves a little bit better on the watercolor paper. I am using the Strathmore watercolor paper today. I am out of the Stampin' Up! one. It's really good, but I didn't have any. So I'm using the Strathmore and it, it works well too. And so all I'm going to do here is just add a little bit of shading just so this egg is not just a stark white. And you can see that how, doesn't that, um, that moves so well on the, on that watercolor paper. I just love these markers. You can color on your stamps with them too. And then I am just going to use the fine tip on this one because these little legs are so tiny. And I am using the pumpkin pie color. It's a pretty orange for the little chick's legs. It's, it's not a little chick, it's an egg. And I'm not going to do worry about any blending on that because it's so small. And I'll just go ahead and do my little mama's legs here. So a little bit about Team Tiny. Um, Team Tiny is a Facebook group that allows um, creators with YouTube channels that are less than a thousand subscribers and I am well below that <laughs> but we do a hop each month and uh, different people can participate and um, once you hit a thousand you go on out on your own and so one day I hope I'll get there but uh, right now um, it's just a really wonderful wonderful group that um, we just have so much fun and they just do the neatest hops I really like this group and so there'll be several in this hop and and you know we're all small channels so um please be sure and check it out i think you'll be surprised at how many wonderful creators there are out there and um and hopefully you'll find someone new that you like to follow there's some really great ones and a lot of them have way more subscribers than i do and um but that's okay now here i am using the uh, what color is this? Crumb cake. It's just a light brown. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm just going to lay down a little bit of that color and then I'm going to use a little bit of this darker color on the inside. This is the soft suede because I want to go over, well, wrong end. I want the brush end. I want to just um, make some of these little accent pieces, this is the little feathery pieces, a little more prominent on my little mama chicken here. And add just a little bit more of that. I just want to give her some color and some shading around underneath her feathers. And again, this is not any, uh, you know, major coloring. I'm not a colorist by any means, but um, I do enjoy, right, really lately, I have really been enjoying the watercolor. And then again, I'm just going to take my blender pen and I'm just going to pull out some of that color. And you can see these, um, these markers, I think they really move well on this watercolor paper. Oh, and before I forget, I am going to be doing a uh, giveaway on my channel during this hop. Um, that's not required and not all creators will be doing giveaways, but be sure and try to get through all of the creators because there may be several that are. I know of a few that are. I think I saw that Crystal's Creations is giving away something and I haven't gotten through um, all of the videos myself. But be sure and check out all of those, and you may win something. 
Now I chose images that don't really require a lot of coloring because I wanted to keep this video short, but it's just so easy to, to do these. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of that darker color in there. Just to do a little bit more shading underneath those feathers. And you don't even really, um, with these markers, sometimes if you blend the colors just right, they, um, you don't even really have to add water or blender with it, honestly. You, they'll just kind of blend well together, I think. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that too, just to give a little bit more feathery look. I might just dot some of that. Yeah, that's cute. Then I will blend that out a little bit more. Um, as I said, I'm going to show you all the stamp set that I'm giving away. Um, this is one that I was trying to remember if it was a celebration item or if it was one. Yes, it was. It was one of the um, free ones that I got during the last celebration uh, with Stampin' Up. And I didn't even realize it, but I guess I, I did two orders during that time, and I ended up with two of them. So I have one for myself, and Celebration, uh, Sampin' Up does that a couple times a year, where you get free items with every $50 purchase. And this was one of those free items with a $50 purchase, and it is really pretty, you all. Um so I'll show that to you before the end of the video, and I am going to be giving that away. Now, I think I'm going to keep her tail white. I think I'm just going to shade it a little bit and make it look like it's, it's just a white color. And then, of course, we've got the little, what's that thing called? I forget what the little thing on the chicken, <laughs> the chicken is called. Oh, it's not with it today. Go down a little bit. Isn't she cute? I think she's so cute. This is such a cute stamp set. This is that Hey Chick set. And um, I don't think you can get it anymore. And then there was a, a follow-up set with that one called um, Hey Birthday Chick. And um, that one is actually getting ready to retire. I think you can still, if I can, um, if I can, I'll put the link for that if anybody's interested in it. It's a real cute set too, but it's all birthday. Look at me, I'm trying to put the wrong lid on. Now this red, I kind of tested that out on a, I thought I was going to lose my eye there, but I didn't. Those just blend so nicely. Goodness, I like those. I love the way these blend. I'm sitting here looking on the video, and it looks a little different on the video than it does in person. I'll try to hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of this red, a very little bit, because this is the um, real red. And I want it to be pretty red, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming because this, this whole card is kind of going to have a watercolor look. So I don't want it to look too, but I don't want to make it look pink either. I want to keep that red. Look at that. That is so nice. Boy, these things make watercolor um, so easy. I mean, I'm not a talented artist or anything, and I... And just doing, I think it's looking really cute. Okay, so there is my chicken and my egg. Aren't those cute? And I, they'll look, you'll notice it more in the photos, but those really did, they really did pull those colors out and blend. And I wanted to keep some of the texture in there. So this look really cute. So um, I'd already colored my other three eggs. And like I said, since I have three siblings, I thought four eggs would be fun. And I liked this one. You know what? I just realized <laughs> this is so funny. I 
used the rooster instead of the chicken. And this is a Mother's Day card. You know what? My mom is probably not even going to notice. And I wanted this one because she's looking backward. And I wanted to kind of build this. I'm going to add these extra little trees kind of back in here. And then I was going to put those just kind of behind the little chicken coop. Just so that it gives it a little bit more dimension. So I think I'm going to glue the trees straight down and then use my dimensionals to pop up the little chicken house, chicken coop, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to glue that directly down. And you all, this saved me so much time because I do build scenes sometimes on my cards. But I'll be honest with you, I almost forgot about this haul. <laughs> Hop. I had some other things going on and I've been having a little bit of computer trouble and been trying out some new computers and um, I almost forgot about this hop. I truly did. So I am going to just use a few Stampin' Dimensionals to pop this up and I thought I had some full size ones but I don't. So I'm going to use these little mini ones which is fine. This is a pretty small image anyway. So I'm just going to pop those up. And I'm not too worried about those legs. I think they'll be fine. I might go ahead and put one underneath that little landing here that'll fit on there. Yeah. And I'll just pull off that release paper. Oops, pulled the whole thing off, Debbie. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that down enough to cover up my little, the bottoms of my trees there. And then that's going to give that a little dimension. There, I think that's cute. Oops. Oh, I've still got that temporary adhesive under there. Let me rub that off. Okay. And then my thought process was, I really liked this one, like I said, because she's looking backward at her little ones. And I thought that was so cute. And so I'm going to take one little sibling egg, two little sibling eggs, and three little sibling eggs. I think my mom's going to love this. She, she's going to think it's so cute. And then one of them's going to be over here just kind of stray by itself. And I think I need to blend that one out a little bit better. I don't think I blended that one quite good enough. Let me pull. Oh, no. I got red on there. Look at that, you all. I think it'll come off. Yeah, it did. Let me blend that out just a little bit more. I should have cleaned my brush off a little better. Okay, let's pull that one out a little bit more too. Okay. You know, honestly, I'm not really good with things that are white. And then here is where I'm going to put my wobbler. I'm going to put this wobbler on my, oh, wait a minute. I need to do this part first. Let's pull this piece off. And that's what's going to go on the back of my little little chicky here. Oh gosh, if I can get that release paper off. Bear with me, you all. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. <laughs> so I'm going to stick the wobbler on here. And then what that's going to do is on the card, you can just, it'll just wobble like that. And I think that's so cute. I was going to put one on the on one of the little chicks too, but I didn't order, I'm going to order some more of the smaller ones. They make these in different sizes and I only got the big ones because I wanted to try them out and just see how fun they were because I've seen other people make cards with these and I was like, gosh, I got to try those sometime. So I'm trying them right here with y'all. I think there's got to be a better way to get this release paper off of here, though. 
my fingers don't want to pull things off very well sometimes. So, okay, there we go. So here we go before I stick that down, because once it's stuck that amber, um, that um, I will tell you the sticky on these little wobbler things seem to be pretty good. Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's adorable. And I may pop up this little egg over here. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to have to get tweezers for this one. My hands are not going to want to hold on to that. So let's glue our eggs down. Oh, my glue's going to clog up on me. There we go. Don't need a whole lot of glue, just a little bit. Okay, so this one's going to be close to Mama. So that's probably going to be my sister April. <laughs> And then this little middle one is going to be my middle sister, Sabrina. And then I think this one's going to be me because, you know, girls are always mine better than boys. And this little one lagging back here, kind of doing his own thing, that's going to be my brother, David. <laughs> I hope he sees this. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to pop that one up. So if they see this, I hope they get a good laugh out of it. I think it's kind of funny. They don't understand my whole art making and scrapbooking addiction. Now my sister April does craft, uh, but she does different things. I don't think she does much scrapbooking anymore. But, and before I send this to my mom, before I give this to my mom, actually, I don't have to mail it because she lives close, so I'll see her. Um, I don't know why that one is laying kind of wonky. There, that's a little straighter. So look at that. There's mama and her babies, and that's my mama, and she is a good one. So I'm going to pop this one up right on here, and oh, I know there was one more thing I wanted to do. Let me put this on first. So I'm going to pop up the sentiment, or the greeting, I'm sorry. Off there. There we go. Did it come off? Yeah, it did. I'll just put that right there. And then the other thing I wanted to add, I'm going to get my Versafine out for this because I want a really crisp black ink. I had this little birds, and those were also in that mountain air set. There's three little birds. Everybody needs a, a set of little birds in some stamp set somewhere, just because they're so cute. You wouldn't think just that little bit would add that much. I may even add some more over here. And there we go. And there is my first Wobbler interactive card. My first one ever. I think it came out really cute. Oh, is my camera gonna focus? There we go. And that's my mama looking back to make sure all her babies are okay. How cute. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure and follow the hashtag in this video so you can check out all of the creators in this hop. And I said I was going to show you the stamp set that I'm giving away. So I'll do that really quick. Um, so be sure and um, hit the like button. Leave me a comment so I'll know who to put in the drawing. And... Um, what, check back on my channel. Um, I'm not sure how long we're supposed to wait to do the giveaway, uh, but I think it's usually about a week 
um, just to make sure everybody has time to get through the hop. But this is the set I'm going to give away. It's called Delicate Dahlias. It is so pretty, you all. And this is a two stamp or a two set stamp set. So you've got your stamps. If you want to do just single stamping, you can do this. Um, it's really pretty and you can, you know, you can use these kind of markers, the water-based markers and color it. You can stamp it with your ink and it really does look three-dimensional, just like you see here. Um, so it's got that set and then it's got on the other side, you've got the sets that you can stamp and um, color with whatever medium you choose. Pencils, watercolor. I think I've done a few of these. I don't have any to show you right now, but it's a really fun set. And then also, if you wanted to outline this one, you can stamp this one and then do the two-step right on top of it to give this look over it. But anyway, it's a beautiful stamp set. And it says, thank you kindly. Oh, so happy for you. You inspire me. And then it's also got a sympathy greeting for sending heartfelt sympathy. So I'm going to give this away. So please, please. Um, share my video, um, share that I'm giving it away so that some of your other crafty friends can have an opportunity to and check back and um, be sure and leave a comment and I will do a drawing and um, I will try to post something letting you know the day I'm doing that drawing, okay? And also you can like me on Facebook under Make It With Me and um, I'll post it over there as well. Thanks so much for stopping by. Enjoy the hop. I hope you find lots of um, new creators that you love to follow, and I thank you so much for, for um, just stamping on creating a little card with me today. Have a wonderful Easter and many blessings.